Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this tutorial on something that I find so frustrating uh, when I'm editing. And usually this comes back to my whole lack of attention to detail that I sometimes tend to have. And sometimes it can just happen, like you may not realize it when you're on the shoot and photographing. So a lot of the times it's just something that pops up in post-production that you just need to remove and I'm just going to show you guys how to get rid of bra straps and also any wristbands or like hair elastics that have been tied around the model's wrists. So I don't know why but for some reason even after like five years of photographing models I still forget to ask them to take the wristbands off like particularly the hair elastics that they've left around their wrists. And oh my god, the amount of times I've had to edit them out in post-production is, it's ridiculous. I've probably had to do it for at least half my shoots over the last few years. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of them. But first off, I'll do bra straps. And as you can see, there's a bra strap poking out here that we really need to just remove. So the main tool I'm going to be using for this is the clone tool. First off, we need to duplicate the background layer and this is the layer we'll be working on and we'll also be just clicking on the clone tool over here. I like to keep the brush size pretty hard at about 85% as if you have the brush too soft, it'll look, it'll just look a little bit more obvious to where you're trying to clone and you can pretty much tell a lot of the time. So you just hold down Alt on the keyboard, select part of the image that you want to clone or sample and then just run the brush over those areas and keep sampling new parts of the image because otherwise it's going to look once again pretty obvious that you've cloned it so just keep So yeah, this is definitely one of those things that I would recommend if you can try and remember to, you know, um, when you're actually taking the photograph on the shoot to let the model know that her bra strap is showing or sometimes it's hard because you can't, sometimes there's no way around it um, because the bra strap might be a lot thicker and the model doesn't want to wear, you know, no bra. So, and that's totally fine. So you just need to sometimes edit it out in post so it's looking a bit better at the moment as I said I can't tell you how many times I have actually done this on shoots you'd think I'd remember by now but no <laughs> okay so just keep cloning sometimes this will take quite a while if it's in an odd position or if it's um, overlapped with another piece of clothing or uh, sometimes it can be like a real nightmare to edit out but if you've got something just like this it's generally pretty easy okay and what I like to do to, cr to kind of blend some of the um, cloning in I like to get the healing brush tool We'll just make that a bit bigger and then sample parts of the image just to kind of blend those areas together. Alright, so I think we're nearly done getting rid of this bra strap, which is good. Alright. It's looking pretty good. Uh, just some of the edges, just on this side, need to be just kind of softened a bit. Sometimes if you just kind of run the healing brush over this, it'll kind of help with the edges. Make it look a little bit more natural. Right. 
Just redo that one. Okay, so that's pretty much done, I think. As I said, that can be a real nightmare sometimes. Um, but luckily this one's pretty easy. So I'll just zoom out. And sometimes you actually might need to do a bit of dodging and burning. And I think in this one I might just slightly dodge this area. So we'll set that to mid-tones. And just lightly run that across. And generally I would do this on a grey layer like I have in my other tutorials. But just for the sake of this, I'll just show you what that looks like. Okay. So I'll just quickly do them before and after of that. So let's see the before. The before was this. And now that's what it looks like. And you can spend a lot more time being a lot more detailed and dodging and burning until it looks really, you know, really well blended. But that's just a really simple way of doing it with the clone tool. And yeah, I think that's pretty much done. So before and after. So the next one I'm going to show you guys is how to get rid of these things. So annoying. Okay, so it's it's basically the same principles as removing the bra strap. Um, duplicating the background layer and getting the clone tool. I just realized this photograph is a little bit blurry, but anyway, we can still work with it. Okay, so just remembering to sample parts of the image and just run it over made that a little bit dark actually so you just I do this quite roughly at first just to get the coloring and and the main parts there so you can blend them in afterwards. I'm not doing a good job of this one actually. <laughs> so these can actually be a nightmare to do as well. Um, and I mean you can probably apply this to if you're wanting to remove a piece of jewelry or a bracelet or a ring or something that's just not really fitting in with the shoot very well and you've forgotten to ask the model to take it off or whatever the reason you can do that as well All right so that's looking a little bit better I mean a bit patchy obviously but at least there's no wristband there okay I'll just get rid of that blue as well Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and blend this in with the healing brush again. can probably do some better cloning here actually first. What I'm going to do is just make the brush a bit bigger and clone that in a bit more. And now I'm going to get the healing brush. Okay. So just keep blending, not too much because it may start to look a bit soft. And that's not what you want. Okay, just down here. And uh, there are different ways to do this, as always with a lot of my tutorials. There's lots of different ways to do things in Photoshop. But, I mean, this is just kind of a way that generally works for me. And we'll just I 
Uh, just this little bit here is really annoying. So I'm going to get the clone brush again. Clone tool, I should say. Okay. And this is something you can also do dodging and burning on as well, which, like I said before, I generally tend to do on a grey layer, but for this purpose, it's okay. And then you just kind of blend it in. So we'll just zoom out to make sure that doesn't look too strange. So that looks pretty good. It's pretty seamless. Um, let's just do a snapshot to make sure. So that does look a lot better not having the wristband there. And as I said, this is a blurry image, so it was a little bit easier to blend um, the patches in. But obviously on a sharp image, it, it is a little bit more difficult and you do need to take a little bit more time with it. Um, apologies for picking a blurry image. I didn't actually realize it was a, a little bit out of focus until I zoomed in just then. So, But anyway, it's still the same techniques still apply. So there we go. Um, if you guys have any more requests for tutorials, definitely let me know. Let me know what you think of this video and if you'd like me to do more tutorials like this. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!